where Arden dropped a body on me. We can't come through you without it snowing on us. Keep up, my lord. Oh, shut it! This is where I got turned around last time. I think. I didn't just get myself turned around again. Nope, this is new. How did I make that shot? Mafala, little hand here. Thank you. That worked quite well. Gross, but it works. Are we currently in a glacier? Yes, and sound will carry, so be quiet. I will do my best. You just bled out a troll in one hit! Yes, I did. Come on down, you former bastards. Well 
they lie. Yeah, I'm sticking close to Serana, letting you have point. As suggested. How long can you hold that thing drawn for? However long I need. Wasn't always this way. Here we go. Jeez. Well, that didn't work. That did. Who needs depth perception? Not the most solid construction here. Not what I expect from creatures like this. Indeed. Although I'm surprised they have construction at all, frankly. Well, I'll be. That'll come in handy. You, you, what did you just do? Extracted its blood. Well, you, you don't have to bite people. No. Gods, what an idiot I've been. You'll have to teach me how to do that at some point. At some point, I will. Careful. Uh, yeah, no kidding. How did you make that shot? I have had at least a hundred years of practice. Oh, your relatively, e equivalently, my age. Yeah. Shh. Steady. Bastard. Careful. Die. Yeah, narrow ledges don't really work well for teams, do they? Not in the slightest. Oh, I hope this is the way out. I'm surprised I dodged that. Oh. Wow. Let it be known, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't think any of us do right at the moment. This place is A, crawling with Pharma, B, entirely made of ice, and C, eh, just don't look down. 
No kidding. Well. Wow. Come on. Hi. This won't end well for you. Sneaky bastards using cover. Good. Are you congratulating the Fulma on their tactics? Maybe. At least they fight better than they smell. I can't believe you. I think we're almost out. I hope we're almost out. Good gods. I'm alright with ice magic. But this is something else. Lovely, and it's daylight, but at least it's snowing. So that's good. Why, pray tell, are you going this way? Hunch. Die! Damn. I was about to say I should know better than to think I can see in this. There's no way. Hello? You want to see me single-handedly kill a frost giant again? Um, sure. I'm gonna charge in if it looks bad, though. Missed. Missed again. on that time. Jeez! It's nothing. It's nothing, he says. As though he hasn't just slain a frost giant. Honestly, if you can keep them at a distance, you can kill pretty much anything. Well, that's a solo tactic, but I have a feeling we're going to be fighting Rocket in close quarters. Fair point. I believe we may be lost again. Huh. I have no idea how that got up there. But, yeah, we're lost again. Good idea, poor execution. Something like that. Unless that is where we're going. Does that look like a path to you? Uh, not particularly. I hate it when you do that. I'm not going to be. 
be able to shoot anything in this. Ah. As long as you roll out of it, you should be fine. Oh, this is great. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. Oh, I didn't see the uh, the thing. You are such an idiot. Sorry, I'll be fine. Give me a moment. You're not getting the best of me. After you. Ah. Uh, sorry. I swear, Arden, if you manage to kill yourself in here... I honestly don't know what I will do. It, well, likewise... Don't be an idiot, Ingrath. Serana go. Eh, around. This is a maze, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One could say it's amazing. I hate you. Oh. Yeah. Good thing I'm watching your back, eh? Indeed. Thank you, Arden. I've gotten sloppy. I don't know, I'd say you're kicking some... Uh, you're doing... you're doing good. You, you, yeah. I've been better. Oh. Well, that'll work. I'm okay, just so you know. Eh, uh, yep, I can see that. That did scare me a little bit, but no, we're fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, shut up. Don't run. That's a bad idea. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. Remember that. Clear out. What did I just say? Yikes. I think the sun came out. In fact, I'm pretty sure the sun came out. Right. I'll watch the exit, but we're gonna have to camp out in here for the night. Day, whatever it is. One of these days, one of us will get it right. Yep. 
How are you doing, Arden? Uh, in regards to what? What do you think I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm still good, and I'm not lying for once, so... Good. At least you... Hello. Wow, I feel like an idiot now. Hello? You found the Way Shrine of Radiance, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Sure. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. You know, filling vessels means something entirely different where I come from. Oh god, Zingrath, really? There we go. That's the last one. Oh. Hey, Arden. Uh-huh. You better get over here. That has to be the place. I've never seen a building like that It before. looks like some kind of temple. That would be a chantry, yes. Gods, alright. I've never seen anything like that before either, and I'm an alien slash um I'm I'm a yeah, actually I I suppose I would be an alien specialist. That makes two of us. E what? I'm from Valenwood. Where do you think the aliens went when they left Cyrodiil? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right, right. Uh, continue. Uh, what is- wow. Oh, alright, well. Ah, uh, this is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. No has kidding. To be in here. Uh, I've just noticed something about that statue. The armor that it's wearing bears a striking resemblance to dragon priest armor. And. I'm not sure what why well I obviously there's that thing with you know Oriel uh, Akatosh that uh, being the same beauty but different uh, like Shor and Shazar and Lorcan and all of never mind we're back to that discussion again and I don't really want to explore that any further Yes, he does always ramble on like this. And I also begin to see where some of the betrayed fall might get their architecture from, with all of the like barred rib caged looking things. Oh, hello. Do we just go in? I suppose so. Oh, right. So, this is what you saw through that window. Yep. Everything is frozen. These Falmer are... They're frozen in the ice. I wonder how long they've been. And I thought the soul can was creepy. I, you know, I, I forgot that you two went to the soul can, and then whenever one of you brings it up, I just kind of... 
internally scream because I'm an enchanter and that's, you know, terrifying. And so are these things. Yeesh. That might come in handy. This won't end well for you. Done and done. Holy Mara. Hey Ralph, what did you do? Sorry. I didn't realize it was yours. In case you're wondering, Serana, the symbolism of the, you know, the, the ewer and the water and whatnot, it's actually kind of a, a, a thing with... Um... Wait. Yes. Hands on deck. Ah, uh, you look a little rough. Woof. Another one of these things. As I was going to say before I realized that there was a frost giant in here, um, yeah, the thing with the ewer and the water is, you know... Crud. Do you what? I forgot to pick up the ewer again. Ah. Right, because the water is a symbol of knowledge, and if you don't pour out what you think you know before you get to what you're supposed to know, it, it doesn't... it... Uh, yeah. It, gods, I'm awful at explaining this kind of thing. Thank you. Frankly, I think you're doing quite well. Everybody out before I take that again. I'm under no illusion that someone could listen to me ramble for days, but... Everybody out? You too, Serana. Come on. Serana. Good grief. That'll do. Now where? Through here. I got distracted, which is usually your thing, Arden. Oh, shush. I found where we're going. Be careful, everyone. Oh, there he is. You know, it occurs to me, Galabor couldn't have asked a better person to do a killing job. Hello, 
Oh, you must be out to curate further. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Oh, good. Is he talking about me? Who else would he be talking Which about? I'm sorry, well, I. Sir, it means your <laughs> usefulness is at an end. I've got your back. And I yours. Anyone An else? Display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's pulling down the ceiling. He what? Oh, in rough. Oh, you bastard! Finish them. Show yourself. Your life ends here. Where do you come? Get up. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. God. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're just as badly battered as I am. The bastard. Enough, Earth. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor. Pardon me while I roll my eyes out loud. Easily manipulated I, fools. singular. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You, you're a vampire. Oh Ariel God! It's all right. You. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world. Wasn't. This is All getting out of hand. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was I you? see where this is going. You created that prophecy. A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient: the blood of a pure vampire. Aren't you going to do something? The blood of a daughter of cold Let her handle it. You're waiting all this time oh. for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Where'd you come from? Now we step in. That'll teach you. Farewell. Three against one is never a fair fight.
Hmm. Interesting. If you want to take his armor for your studies or whatever, feel free. Hillamore. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame, as it turns out. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He was controlling them. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why is that? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Oh. Hey, Arden. Uh, I... Serana... Is she still... Yeah... I'm... She's... She'll be fine, I'm sure. So, um... I don't know if you can hear that high-pitched squealing sound it's making. The ringing? Uh, nope. It's just sparkly to me. You wanna take it? I'm not an archer, Ingrath. Fair. Stop making that sound. That'll do. Here it is. That looks... um... It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. You should have seen it five seconds ago. Yep, works like a regular bow for sure. I'm wasting arrows, but... Seems fine to me. It, uh, seems to suit you, just, it's, it's, I... So, Serana, what do we do now? Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. You don't think? We're going to have to kill him before he kills us, if I'm understanding everything correctly. I would say that you are. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Then let's face him together, all three of us. You want me to help you kill Hagen? Yes, Arden. You're the only other vampire lord here. Oh, I see where this is going, I think. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. And you're not an archer. So you're gonna need me. Gods, you're both so tall. Right, we should probably get out of here before the sun comes up again. How many days has it been? Three? Yeah, something like that.
I didn't. Oh, never mind. I am a coward. Hey, so... Uh, before we go in there, I have something I'd like to give you. I saw it in the bottom of my bag when we were camped out in that Falmo... Uh, pit. I wanted you to have it. Just in case. Is this... It matches the one on your belt, save the color. It's a dragon priest mask. Mine is enchanted for a mage, more or less. Yours has a different set on it. I know you'll likely be in the back with the bow, but... Just in case. You're too kind, Arden. I'm gonna feel like I owe you something in return. You owe me nothing. I'm no fan of the sun. That would be better than this. Okay, not true. You owe me a conversation about aliens from a Bosman's perspective, because that's... You know, once you kill Harkin, you'll likely be made the Lord of the Volkahar clan. We. We will kill him. I... You know I can't do this alone. Neither can I. And neither can Serana, of course. And with any luck, Garen Marathi isn't going to flay me when this is all over. I'll see what I can do about keeping your skin where it's supposed to be. Much obliged, my lord. Alright. Are you ready? Well, ready as I'll ever be anyway. Hello, Yov. Yov. Hello, Gom. I've gone the wrong direction in this bloody castle again. Where is he? So, you've returned. Is your pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic half-breed vampire. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No, because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. And me. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. Loyalty? You never intended to let me live. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. You are an insult to our kind. Oh, come now. Spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. I would never le Use Serana or anyone else like that. The vampire is eternal. And with immortality comes the revelation that these bonds never endure. It's fleeting, momentary at best. Enough of this. Yes, quite. 
I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. To oblivion with you, Lord Harkin. Very well then, you leave me no choice. Or your soul will be mine. done. What will you do now? I'm not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. <laughs> I'd love to have you along. If you're up for them, anyway. That's what I wanted to hear. Right. My congratulations on defeating Harkon. Clearly, you are the superior vampire. You are the new master. We bow to your power. A power which, I note, includes Oriel's bow. The castle, of course, is yours. We shall follow you and help spread your influence across Skyrim. What can I do? What can I do to help? 
One of the feral brood has joined a group of bandits, presumably with aims to grant the gift to the entire lot of them. Needless to say, we can't abide that, as it would raise general alarm amongst the herd, to say nothing of the increased feeding competition. You are to destroy the feral creature before this small problem becomes a larger one, if you'll excuse me. Oh, of course. Lord Harkon defeated. I never imagined I'd see the day. That is, I am sure this was not easy for you. He was out of control, Garen. It had to be done. I'm not happy about this. He... He was still my father. But I suppose my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. Of course, my dear. All will be well now. <sighs> well, hey. That explains a lot. <laughs> the Ace of Demons. Can't say I'm terribly surprised about that. <sighs> so, you've been in and around this court far longer than I have. Any suggestions? They appreciate theatrics. Go out there and let them know you did actually usurp this throne. And what about... What about Sarona? She'll need time. Give her time. Right behind you. Okay. I'm ready when you are. And don't even pretend like you haven't been trying to come up with a speech for the last three days. Go give it, my lord. Only if you come with me. Harkin had an executioner, did he not? He had Fura, if that's what you mean. True. I just need you to watch my back in case there are any daggers to be had in it. Can do. Lead on. By the way, was that shouting that I heard? It may have been. Scions of the Night. Lord Harkin is dead. By right of duel, by the ancient laws of this land, I hereby claim his throne and his title as Lord of Clan Volgahar. If there are any who would oppose me, speak now, challenge me yourself, or else hold your silence for eternity. Good. As the new Lord of Clan Volgahar, I name Master Garen Merethi as my chief advisor. Should I ever fall in battle outside of this castle, I name Lady Serana as my heiress. And, in an effort to keep my own vitality secured, I name Ingrath Stormsong as the Lord's Shadow. Should any of you ever quarrel with these three, bring your grievances to me. They are not to be harmed. The rest of you will keep your positions in this court as long as you continue to prove your loyalty to me, to Clan Volkahar, and to our laws. Before his obsession with a false prophecy, the late Lord Harkin wanted to ensure the survival of this clan and of all vampires. I am under no such illusion that a single bow, no matter its nature, is the key to that. In that light, I sent forth a call for fealty. Let all vampires in Skyrim, rogue, rival, ally, or otherwise, hear that call and be welcomed if they accept it. My rules are simple. Live alongside the mortals. Do not attack them out of turn. Drink only as much as you need, but create thralls if you must. The key to our survival lies not in waging war upon our prey, but in maintaining a balance. Just as mortals take care of their livestock, 
so too must we take care of ours. And as for the call for fealty, let all those vampires who accept it be under the protection of Clan Volgahar. They will be fed, sheltered, and guarded from attacks if necessary. Those who refuse this call are on their own, left to the mercies of Skyrim, the vigilance of Stendar, and the Dawn Guard. Spread this message as far and wide as you can. Let all of the Knight's children know that a new Lord of Volgahar has risen up, and the night and the day shall soon be as one. In harmony, rather than tyranny. Now if you'll excuse me, I have repairs to attend to. Oh. Hello. Different dog. <laughs> uh, how'd I do? A little long-winded for my taste, but damn if you didn't sound like you belong here. The Lord's Shadow. Might as well give you a fancy title to go, to go along with your job description. Which is? Watch my back and keep your ears open. Obviously I have to share you with Miss Gold, but when you're here at least nobody will try to maim you, isn't that right? And you have to Where's share me with Mephala, but I'll be honest. Ah, yes. uh, nah, right. better not. Were, well, I don't want to hear about it. I want what I ask for. Yes, Baron, of course. I'll see to it. Uh, gods, is there anywhere in this blasted castle that we can talk without having to worry about the walls having ears? And where we won't be watched for a little while? I... <laughs> I need to be weak in peace. I think I can find a place. Go on outside, Lord Arden. I'm gonna have to get used to that now, aren't I? Given that speech you just gave, I'd say you've earned it. It'll be down here and around to the right. Okay. Whew, I really was shouting, wasn't I? Yeah, we've just... We've been through so much. I was just thinking about that night after Harkin turned me, and I... I don't think I ever thanked you for being here. Don't. What? You just saved my hide in there. I don't think you realize yet how far-reaching that call is going to go and what consequences it'll have. You just saved a lot of people, Arden. Good people. People who ended up in shitty situations. I... Yeah, I, I know. I, I mean, well, I mean, I can't just let the Volgaha be the most powerful vampires in Skyrim and not do something with that power, right? Come on. I want to show you something. And I'm willing to bet it'll be the first thing on your list of repairs once you see it. You mean besides fumigating Harkin's chambers? Yeah, besides that. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay. This place has potential. What is this thing? God, it's a little run down, though. Hmm. Do you, Serana, tell her her mother used to tend this place like a priestess tends a shrine? It was beautiful once. Under your rule, I think it can be again. Harkin had it sealed off, didn't he? 
So I heard. Where? Hmm. Nothing a pickaxe and some elbow grease won't solve. <laughs> Gods, look at me. I came to Skyrim to dig up an old Nordic ruin, and here I am, the court, the lord of a court full of vampires. And the Archmage. And... Yeah. <laughs> Only Ancano could see me now. Ancano didn't deserve you. What makes you say that? In that tone of voice. Arden, you're something else. Sorry, I've never been good at this kind of thing. At what kind of thing? You're also an idiot sometimes. True. But you're brilliant. You're kind. A good man doesn't make a good ruler, but I think you could be both. <laughs> Gods, I need practice, for one thing. We'll have to have a chat with Miss Gold, probably, but... Pardon. You're... Well, you're right. She's gonna be pissed when she hears that call, till she realizes who made it. Imrath, are you all right? Oh, uh, if you, if you can't take the job I gave you, it's not a problem, really. I just... No, it's not that. Arden, no, I'm not leaving you. I would stay by your side even if you hadn't offered me a title along with it. If, if you'll have me, that is. Wait, what? Are you, are you serious? Are you asking what I think you're asking? Yes, Arden, I'm serious. I seem to have fallen in over my head again. Some things never change. <laughs> Ingrath, I... Cause, I know the feeling. I... I wish I could stop falling for cantankerous elves that could quite easily kill me. And you had blue eyes to go with your black hair before all this. Black hair... Blue eyes, sweet voice. I have always had a type. So, that's a yes then. Uh, jeez, uh, yes, I, I would. Have you? Wow, I mean, uh, I'm willing to give this a shot anyway. I hereby give you permission to shut me up however you please. Give me ideas, my lord. 